Hi friends! Today I am going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to create this floral vase illustration using the Procreate app. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more content like this one. The color palette for this artwork is in the description box below so if you want to use the same colors as I do, you can download that one. Or you can use any color that you like. Let's use this dark blue for our background. And on the layer menu, tap the plus icon to create a new layer. In the wrench icon under canvas, let's turn on the drawing guide and use the symmetry option. Let's change the color, opacity, and thickness to make it easier to spot where our drawing guide is. Once those are set up, let's tap Done. Using the color white and the studio pen under the inking library, let's draw the outline of the vase. I drew a slightly slanted line, then an arc to close the bottom part of the vase. Then a smaller slanted line and an arc again. Then draw the neck of the vase. I actually made a lot of trial and error on this part to make the shape good enough. Then I draw a horizontal letter J for the opening of the vase. Let's fill these elements in with the color white. Then on the layer menu, tap the thumbnail of our current layer and select mask. On the brush library under touch up, let's select the noise brush. Let's start masking the vase from the center and work our way outward. Now let's change the size of our brush to a smaller size and let's work on the edge of our vase. On the bottom part of the vase, leave a small unmasked space so that it will look like this. Let's also do that on the opening part of our vase. On the layer menu, tap the plus icon again to add a new layer. I'm also going to turn off the drawing guide in the action menu. For our color, I will be using the shade of pink. Let's also change our brush to the ink bleed brush under inking. I'm drawing this flower in the side profile and I will also draw one which is facing us. Let's draw more petals at the back to make our flowers bigger. For the line details, let's adjust our brush to a smaller size and let's also create a new layer in the layer menu. Then let's add the line shading. My trick here is I imagine one end of all the lines are converging at the tip of the petal, then they follow the shape of the petal, and then converge again at the other end of the petal. And here I am going to apply the trick on all the petals.
Let's add another layer for our next flower. I'm going to use this color to draw our lavender. In drawing the petals of a lavender, we don't need to make it look perfect because it looks less natural that way. So what I did is I drew two petals in one layer, then four, then three, then sometimes they don't even line up to each other. And I think that makes it look more natural. Let's add another layer again and this time it is for our stems and leaves. I will be using this shade of green for those. I drew this main stem then I am drawing a smaller one and attach more leaves in there. I also erased a part of the main stem to show that this leaf is in front of it. Then let's add a new layer on top of the layer containing our first two flowers. In this layer, let's draw the stem of our lavender. On the layer menu, tap the plus icon again to add a new layer. Let's again create a new layer where we are going to draw more leaves. I am also using a different shade of green just to differentiate the main leaves from this one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want more content, you can check these other videos. Until next time, bye!